You know, the Star Wars shows, specifically talking about, you know, the Book of Boba Fett, the Mandalorian series, they generally keep under wraps, except for going into season one. The Star Wars Disney Plus shows have generally kept under wraps who the directors of the various episodes are. So we've they've gone in and produced entire seasons, and we've not known who the directors are. Maybe we've known one or two names. And then leading up to those shows coming out, we start to find out. Well, coming off their hot wins at the Academy Awards. Hot wins. Everything. Everywhere. All at once, directors, which a movie that just swept up the Oscars this year. I think they ultimately won seven Academy Awards, mm -hmm. including Best Directors, Best Motion Picture, Best Screenplay. I mean, Best uh, Actress, Best Supporting Actor, Best Supporting Actress. I mean, it, it just, they dominated. And the directors, the Daniels, we started talking instantly after they won those Academy Awards. What's next for these guys? They've got to deal with Universal, but that doesn't preclude them from doing movies with other studios as well, depending on the nature of the deal. And what's the big next thing's going to be? Well, according to The Hollywood Reporter, we now know what the next thing we're going to see with these guys in, and that is the upcoming new Star Wars series, Skeleton Crew. Now, for those of you guys who might forget what that is, Spider-Man No Way Home, Far From Home, and Homecoming director John Watts, who I think, wasn't he going to do Fantastic Four at some point? I think mm -hmm. I think he was, yeah. But anyway, he jumped over and he decided he was going to do this new live-action Star Wars series called Skeleton Crew. And they got Jude Law to be the star of it, which to me is actually really quite exciting. So John Watts, who's been tearing it up, did a great job with his Spider-Man franchise. And working with a guy like Jude Law, love it. Well, apparently, according to these reports now, the Daniels, the Oscar-winning directors, the reigning Academy Award winner, best directors in the world, are going to be directing at least one episode of Skeleton Crew. It says this, newly minted Oscar winners, Daniels, have set a course for the Star Wars galaxy. The filmmakers behind everything ever all at once are working on the Disney Plus series Skeleton Crew, sources tell The Hollywood Reporter. The series began filming over the summer and wrapped in recent months. But as with all things Star Wars, the show has been shrouded in secrecy with the directors unknown. The complete list of Helmers of the Mandalorian season three, for example, were not even revealed until the trailer dropped two months ahead of the premiere. So according to the Hollywood Reporter, at least one episode of Skeleton Crew. And listen, I know there's not a lot of people who are what you would say creaming their pants for skeleton crew. I get it. That when it, you say you would say. <laughs> I I mean, I mean to be fair, I mean the 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 one line elevator pitch of it of a bunch of kids in the Star Wars galaxy trying to find their way home. I mean, okay, that doesn't elicit a lot of hype, granted. I am not excited for skeleton crew based on the elevator pitch. Mm -hmm. I'm excited because it's John Watts. I'm excited because I love Jude Law. And I'm excited now because they've been able to attract directors such as the Academy Award winning Daniels. Now, I can already hear some people who would say to me, well, John, Marvel went out and got the reigning defending Oscar best director of the year to go and do Eternals. Well, yeah, but I get it. It's, it's a little bit of a hot take. F it. I like Eternals. I think Eternals is quite good. And I actually like it more every time I watch it. So for me, even though the box office didn't work out so good, that has nothing to do with the director. I thought they, I thought they made a good movie. So yes, I am excited that Jude Law is going to be acting in at least one episode, maybe a couple being directed by the Daniels. Listen, the Daniels have shown, because not only are they Academy Award winning directors, by the way, they're Academy Award winning writers. They won the Academy Award for writing as well. And they wrote that damn thing. They come what they bring to the table is this really spontaneous way of thinking and this out of the box style of thinking and the way they shoot stuff. It's just really kinetic. And I think that style in a Star Wars show, which admittedly, we don't know much about the Star Wars show. I fully admit that. But I think this is great news. Like, I am personally really, really stoked to watch this, and I think the addition of the Daniels is absolutely fantastic. And it's going to be really interesting to see what they can do with this material, because Star Wars ain't for everybody. Star Wars ain't for everybody. But in the right hands, say, take, for example, Bryce Dallas Howard. 
Look what happened when Bryce Dallas Howard. I, I contend a couple of the best episodes of Star Wars television outside of Andor, which is the greatest thing Star Wars has ever put on television, maybe the greatest thing Star Wars has done since the original trilogy. But outside of that, Bryce Dallas Howard stepped in and it was just there, man. She knows that world. She knows how to really, and not just knows the world, she knew how to bring the best out of it. And the episodes that she's directed on Disney Plus for Star Wars so far have been some of the best that they've done. I am counting on the same to be true of the Daniels. Nay, blindly optimistic. <laughs> well, it's not so blind, right? They got Oscars in their hands, so it's not all that blind. But I think this is absolutely for terrific, and I cannot wait. Guys, the question is for you. <laughs> what do you think about this? The Academy Award-winning Best Directors, the Daniels, the Daniels. Are, going, are going to be directing at minimum, <laughs> might be two, might be three, one episode of the upcoming Jude Law, John Watts series, Skeleton Crew for Star Wars Universe. Is that enough to get you kind of at least interested in it? I, I don't. I haven't heard a lot of people have been hyped about this show. Will this change it? Maybe yes, maybe no. Whatever you guys think, <laughs> jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Fume. Be smart. Don't start. Kick the habit. Put it out before it puts you out. All phrases we've heard a hundred times yet, we still continue to have bad habits. And I know all of you guys completely relate with me when I say kicking bad habits feel like it's impossible. Well, thankfully, our sponsor Fume is on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science to help you trade out your negative habit for a positive one. And understand, Fume is not a vape. It's a non-electronic device designed to transform your negative habits. Instead of pods filled with potentially harmful chemicals like a vape, Fume uses cores infused with plants like peppermint and cinnamon for delicious natural flavors. And Fume's new version 2 model is snappy and tactile. The easiest way to stop a bad habit is to switch to a positive one, and Fume is designed perfectly to do just that. It's Fume's goal to make switching easy and even enjoyable. They have thousands of five-star reviews from people just just like you who've successfully switched when other solutions simply don't work. So head to tryfume.com and use the code CAMPIA to save 10% off when you get the Journey Pack today. The Journey Pack comes with three unique flavors and the new version Tomb Fume to help kickstart your positive habits. That's tryfume.com and use the code CAMPIA to save an additional 10% off on your order today.